Hello, and welcome back to The Broken Doll. Well, I come to you today. I'll move you back a little bit. There we go. We are going to clean Shirley Temple's wig. Now, her wig is dirty. It does have a few little rips in it, which doesn't matter. We can sew those up. I'm not worried about that. This is just a couple of them in there. Oh, let's see. We have a tear right here, which can be sewn up. Okay. I can sew that up with no problem whatsoever. Just some hand sewing will do. And maybe some sewing up in here. Just a few little places. We have that one. Oh, yeah. These two sides right here. Right there and right over here. So I got some places where my fingers come through. And then just a little bit up in here. We're going to sew that up. You know, but I think once I get it treated and everything, uh, clean it all up. Oh, it feels grimy. So I've got my water here. We're going to fill some water here. Fill these up with water. This one anyways for right now. So let's do that. All right. And then we're going to put in some shampoo here. this wig in here get it clean I think I could use more water in that there we go I took that whole jug of, of uh, water there the whole jug I have to go get more water in a little bit oh my goodness you see the dirt starting to come out of this I think just sitting here and just soaking in this will be the best thing for it right now Oh my goodness, you can see the, the, the dirty water. Look at this. Oh my word. This wig was dirty. Just let it sit in that and just... This is a mohair wig. So, this shampoo will be good for it. It's for natural and synthetic wigs, so... Look at that water. Look at it. Oh my goodness. Yeah. So anyways, this is step one anyways. Just getting it clean. Just pushing it around. That's what we want to do. Just push the hair, the, the wig around. Just kind of, you know, get that dirt out of there. We'll probably have to do about two or three different uh, dunks in here with some shampoo. And yeah, just let it just... Oh my goodness. Look at it. Wow. Oh, wow. Just, just squeezing it here. Just squeezing the dirt out of it. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Her wig was dirty. This doll, when I got her, she was in rough shape to begin with, you know. So, I mean, I've had a lot rougher when it comes to dolls. But um, this here, um, this doll, I look, she had her issues. But um, I, I noticed, too, with when it comes to some composition dolls, even with the Ideal Company, it doesn't matter what company I've seen this but from one ideal Shirley Temple to the other um, the grade of the doll can change even if it was made within the like the the, the, the first couple years um, this one that I did I'm going to be showing it to you later on but if you look at her markings on the back the stamping is very um, light it's not heavy like some of some others the reason is is because the this the stamp was getting old and probably used you know a lot and it just didn't get the the full like the stamp is there you can see it's a circa it has the circuit like it's, it's before the patent came out and everything but um oh my goodness look at that this is this is her water it is awful oh my word i have to go get more water and that's for me just squeezing it here just sitting here and just squeezing yeah the dirt out of it here so you know um even if a doll was made in the first two years of production you can see the difference of the stamp um how precise that stamp is on the back some are more faded some are really precise like at the beginning they're really precise and that can tell you also where they were maybe in the um the production of the doll and um you know and yet she had plastic eyes she didn't have the tin eyes and that kind of tells me also that she wasn't being used right away 
Um, she might have been old stock just sitting around and like I say they are trying to get rid of the uh, composition dolls and in the late 40s there and they put plastic eyes in and try to sell her through the plastic eyes you know Shirley Temple composition Shirley Temple with new plastic eyes and that could have been a selling point you know you never know how they were doing things back then marketing and everything and trying to get rid of old stock because vinyl was coming in it was making its way after the world wars there and yeah, but oh my goodness. Oh, I got to get this out of here. Look how nice and bright already. How bright her hair is already. How blonde and everything it is. Um, wow. <laughs> okay, we're going to put that over there. We're going to come back and I'm going to get clean water and we're going to soak her again. But just to let you see, there's her water. Look at that. That is dirty. <laughs> okay, I'll be back with more. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.